Hey, what's up, everybody? And today is episode number four, the Rhino of the animated saga I'm doing. And so let's get into the figure himself. So here he is, and he is a big boy. Look at that stomp. This thing is heavy. It is a little bit too big, in my opinion. And it's not exactly the animated Rhino, but it's pretty close. And it did come on the retro card, so it's as close as it's going to get. But I do like all the detailing. I do like how the skin looks very rhino-like. And look at that rhino butt right there. Very, very solid. And he does... He, he is just huge, and there is an ugly gap there, but we'll just put that back. He's really huge, but I do like the shade work. I like the paint on those rhino feet. Right there, and they do have the same kind of paint there on the for the fists. And as you'll see on the open hand accessories soon. But yeah, he he doesn't look too bad. So let's get in on that face a little bit there. That is a he's a he's a big boy. Pretty fat looking face. Pretty good though with that photo real tech. I always wondered if uh it was always like real rhino skin. Just because, like, those, uh, those eyes look a little bit too realistic, in my opinion. But I do like the paintwork and sculpting on the horns there. Looks pretty, pretty good. So that's it for the figure itself. Let's take a look at him further. This figure is pretty great. It looks really nice with Black Spider-Man, and you can get him in some pretty cool little running poses. And he's just a little couple poses right here. He does look pretty good, and he can get down pretty well. But anyway, let's take a look at his articulation because that's what you came for here, right? To see how he articulates. So let's take a look at how well this articulation is. It's going to be a little bit limited because he's a big boy. And he doesn't really need to be that dynamic. But as for the head, he can look up and go side to side only a little bit. It does look up only that far, though, which isn't too, too bad, but it does what you need to do. And he looks down pretty decently. And for the arms, no butterfly joint, of course, but the arm can go up only that far. And it can go back down. It can spin all the way around. And he does, he does have a uh, bicep swivel, but it's a little bit stiff just because of that shoulder pad right there. And he does only have a single-jointed elbow right there. And for the wrists, they do hinge up and down. And they do spin all the way around, like so. And as for the torso, he can crunch forward about that far, and he can't crunch back at all. So only forward. And yeah, no crunch backward at all, which kind of blows. But he does have a waist swivel right there. And his legs can go up about that far. And they can go back only that far. They can go out to the side only about that far. And he does have thigh rotation. And as for the knees, it is just a single jointed knee. So that's pretty much all he really needs. So it can go back only about that far. And putting that back, his foot can go up only a little bit, but back pretty far. And he does have ankle pivot. So he's pretty decently articulated for a rhino figure. Let's take a look at him further. All in all, pretty decent rhino figure. Now for accessories, he has these two fists and that specific facial expression. And he does have these two open hands. And he does have another facial expression. Which I'll show how to remove here. You just unplug the head at the top like so. It's just on that peg. And as you can see right there, he has this kind of yelling face. And so you just plug that in at the top like so. Push it down. And there you go. And this figure looks pretty good next to Spidey. And as far as that, let's go to compar comparisons. So here he is next to the animated Spider-Man right there so you see how they look together uh, i think this rhino is a bit on the bigger side uh but i still think it kind of works 
in some areas. And here he is next to the black costume Spider-Man. Because they did fight each other in the animated series. Which was a pretty pretty cool scene to see. And as you see here you can <laughs> recreate that scene where black Spider-Man is kind of spinning him around on his horn. And here he is next to Shocker. Because they worked together uh, when they were facing Venom. So that's how he looks next to Shocker. And here Rhino is next to the animated Can't Stand Doc Ock from the VHS 2-pack because his Doc Ock does not like to stand. And so that's how he looks next to him. And here he, the Rhino is next to the SDCC animated Venom. So that's how they look together there. So it's a pretty cool Rhino figure. So some final thoughts. It's not a bad Rhino figure. It's definitely not exactly... The uh, animated series kind of Rhino, but it's as close as we're going to get. Because I don't think we're going to get an animated series Rhino. But this retro carded one basically fills in that gap, at least for me. And you can pull off some pretty cool little poses with him. The uh, He can hold Spider-Man's leg there with those open hands or any figure's legs. You can get him with some pretty cool running poses. I think he's a pretty good figure. But... As far as that is uh, for now, do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. It's pretty cool. And it fits with the shelf. And it's pretty, it's nicely detailed, but that's it for now for this one. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.